The real truth of why dealer installed protection packages are a complete waste of your time and money. Friends, the protection packages we're going to talk about today are the packages that you should never ever buy from a car dealer. And if you want them, you can buy them for pennies on the dollar on your own. Never give in to these frequent hard sales pitches on garbage in the car dealer environment. Stick with us and learn how to recognize these junk products. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, and joining me today to talk about these bogus dealer protection packages is the always amazing Elizabeth. Thanks, Kevin. Friends, if everyone working inside a dealership would tell you the truth, they would agree 100% with the comment that Kevin just made, and they'd say the exact same thing. Dealers are so eager to make this stuff as profitable as possible for them that they even have kids installing this junk if it even gets installed at all, right? So either it gets done by someone who has no clue, or it doesn't get done at all. Listen to what this viewer says, who worked his whole career in a car dealer service department, an absolute truth bomb shared by J.S. Hutchins. J.S. writes, I've worked in car dealer service departments my whole career as an ASE tech. The window etchings take only a few minutes and are done during the pre-delivery inspection, the unwrapping of the car. I would refuse to buy a car that has had the glass etched with numbers, or I would demand a further discount because they messed up all the windows with acid etchings. The paint protection is a hand wax, and Scotchgard spray on fabric seats is done by a minimum wage kid. Then you get a certificate of coverage. The Scotchgard often isn't really even done. That is exactly my experience behind the scenes, too. Think about something, friends. ASE is supposed to stand for Automotive Service Excellence. An ASE certification is supposed to be a credential for automotive technicians that demonstrates their skills in repair and maintenance. The National Institute for Automotive Service Excellence, ASE, is a nonprofit organization that has been certifying automotive professionals since 1972 to improve the quality of vehicle repair and service. But I would say that actually the opposite has happened since 1972. This is implied to mean something good, but in truth, ASE certification when it comes to a car dealer, just ends up being a lot of meaningless writing on a piece of worthless paper, certainly not a guarantee of any level of automotive excellence. Before we dig into why a car dealer would sell protection packages at all, I want to remind you of our hassle-free car buying service provided by Stuart. He is an expert at getting junk like this that we're talking about today removed from car contracts because he uses our bulletproof OTD method. Visit thehomeworkguy.com for more information. As we were saying, why would a car dealer sell protection packages that aren't even installed? There are several unethical reasons. The sale of these products are primarily driven by profit. Liz? Well, yes, profit is king at car dealerships these days. Protection packages often have high markups, meaning dealers can significantly increase their profit margins by selling them. Even if the package isn't installed, the dealer will, of course, still pocket the extra money. Here are reasons that they can get away with this stuff. Number one, bundling tactics. We frequently warned you about dealer bundling. Dealers often bundle these packages with the car sale, and interestingly, beyond the profits, they actually believe these protection packages make the deal seem more attractive or comprehensive to you, the car buyer. Customers might believe they are getting added value, even if the items are not actually installed. By the way, bundling is also known as tying the sale And that tactic is clearly illegal, according to the FTC. Read up on it and just say no when you're offered this stuff. Number two, customer awareness. Many customers may not know what to look for to verify if the protection packages are even installed. This lack of awareness allows dealers to sell these packages without actually providing the services or the products promised. And number three, there's complex paperwork. Car buying involves extensive paperwork and dealers can slip in the charges for protection packages among various other fees. Car buyers might not notice or question these charges in the midst of all the documentation. Number four is sales pressure. Salespeople might be incentivized to sell these packages through commissions or sales targets. The pressure to meet these goals can lead to dishonest practices such as charging for uninstalled protection packages. And then number five is customer trust. Dealers rely on the assumption that customers trust them and will not check whether the protection packages are actually installed. Right. This trust can be exploited, especially if the dealership has a long-standing reputation. Isn't that interesting, friends? The more a dealer believes that you trust them, the more they will do to take advantage of that trust. Don't forget that. There are some things that a car buyer can do to avoid falling victim to these practices. If you watch this video and you buy a protection package anyway, here's what you should do. 
Thoroughly review the itemized costs found in your sales contract and ask for detailed explanations and documentation of all these protection packages. I would add, tell the dealer you want to go back to the service department while these products are being installed on your vehicle and see the actual application process. Mm. If they say it's already installed, take the time to inspect the car and make an attempt to ensure that any promised features or services are actually present. We'll give you a tip on how to test that in just a moment. One of the biggest offenders are actually the fabric protection packages. This is a dealer favorite to say we install this product on all of our cars. Dealers can often get away with selling fabric protection packages without even installing them for a few of these reasons. First off, there's no visible evidence. Fabric protection is often an invisible treatment. Unlike physical accessories, you know, like floor mats, it's hard for a buyer to visually confirm whether the fabric has been treated or not. The invisibility makes it easier for dealers to claim the service was performed when in truth, it wasn't. And don't forget customer trust and assumptions. Unbelievably, many buyers wrongly assume that dealers are honest and trustworthy. This trust, if given, is always exploited, as most customers won't think to verify the installation of such treatments. So the lack of knowledge hurts here. Customers are not aware of what fabric protection entails or how to check if it has been applied. This lack of knowledge makes it easier for dealers to sell non-existent services. Dealers train their salespeople to provide verbal assurances that the fabric protection has been applied, and they make statements like, I had this done on my car and it totally saved my seat for my kids. This story is total bullshit, and the guy probably doesn't even have kids. Right. <laughs> the customer has no technical knowledge or tools, and most customers have no idea these are just rehearsed lies, and the buyer may think they have no reason to doubt them. The good news is, friends, that there's an easy way to catch a dealer in a lie. You can test the fabric. It's a very simple water test that you can try. To test if fabric protection was installed on your car's cloth seats, you can perform a simple water test. Here are the steps to follow. Choose an area of the seat that may not be easily visible, such as a deep corner. Drop a few drops of water onto the fabric. If fabric protection was applied, the water will immediately bead up and sit on the surface of the fabric without soaking in. This indicates the protective coating has been applied and it is repelling the water. If no fabric protection was applied, the water will likely soak into the fabric quickly, indicating there's no protective barrier. Additionally, some fabric protectants might have specific instructions or indicators for checking their presence. Ask to see those documents. If you bought one of these packages and you are unsure or if the results are inconclusive, you might want to immediately go back and demand that the dealership reverse the charges for the fabric protection and then do what you should have done in the first place. Pick up a can of Scotch Guard for yourself at any department store for under 20 bucks and do it yourself. Many times cheaper and then you actually know it's on the fabric. Right. Dealers can sometimes cheat customers out of services they've paid for but haven't received. First off, if the car dealers in your state are repeatedly breaking the law but are not being brought to court for it, they're simply going to keep repeating the offense. Kind of like Andy Elliott did. Yep. On the consumer side, the buying process can be overwhelming with lots of documents to sign and information to digest. Customers might miss or not understand the details of every service they're paying for. And let's not forget intimidation. Sales environments can sometimes be intimidating, making customers reluctant to question the dealership's integrity or to demand proof of services. Well, here's the deal. You need to call them out for tying the sale as reported by the FTC. Absolutely. Tying the sale of the inferior product, like fabric protection, that doesn't stand on its own to the desired product, the vehicle purchase. When you're doing your online homework, make sure you look for the asterisk and read all the fine print on the dealer's website. Some dealers disclose on their website that all vehicles include protection package, as an example. But more so, on your car contract, important details about services might be buried in the fine print of the contract where customers are unlikely to notice the discrepancies. Or our personal least favorite, we'll just throw it in for free and then they charge you for it anyway. Happens all the time. All the time. Moving on to another big offender, paint protection. Here's the most important thing you need to know about dealer-offered paint protection packages. Factory installed paint doesn't need paint protection. Uh -huh. Factory installed paint is generally of high quality and designed to be durable without the need for extra paint protection products. Modern car manufacturers use advanced techniques and high quality materials in their paint processes. We've even seen some of these go through the plant. This includes multiple layers of paint and clear coats that provide durability and a deep glossy finish. And this paint is applied in a controlled factory environment which ensures optimal conditions for paint application and curing. 
This reduces the chances of imperfections and increases the longevity of the paint coating. Yep. It won't need the dealer garbage is the bottom line. Car makers also use protective clear coats. Most cars come with a clear coat layer that is designed to protect the underlying paint from UV rays, oxidation, and minor scratches. This clear coat is resilient and provides a strong protective barrier already. The clear coat is chemically bonded to the paint layers, providing better protection than any aftermarket product, which are applied simply on top of the clear coat. Here's something many people don't know. Factory paint often comes with a warranty that covers defects and issues for several years. This warranty gives consumers confidence in the durability and quality of the paint job. I mean, how many cars do you see driving around that are less than five years old and have missing or flaking paint? I know. Modern paint coming out of the car factories has an incredible UV resistance that protects the paint from fading and deterioration due to sunlight exposure. There's also corrosion resistance, which protects the vehicle's body from rust and other forms of corrosion. While extra paint protection products on top of the factory paint might offer some minimal benefits, such as ease of cleaning or minor scratch resistance, as we pointed out, they are generally not necessary given the high quality and durability of factory installed paint. Regular maintenance and proper care are usually more than sufficient to keep your new vehicle's paint looking new and protected for a very long time. So besides fabric and paint protection, here are other commonly sold packages. Rust proofing and undercoating. Think of cars in snowy or wet states. It's pushed as a protective layer to the underside of the car and other vulnerable areas to prevent rust and corrosion, which they say could extend the life of the vehicle, especially in areas with harsh winters or high humidity. Do you need this additional coverage? No. Well, that short answer is no. Cars today are manufactured with corrosion protection. They actually dip the entire body in tanks of chemicals, and this process makes the added dealer treatment totally unnecessary, though it is a profitable thing for car dealerships. By the way, Consumer Reports also recommends that car buyers skip the undercoating and several other pricey add-ons, including VIN etching, fabric protection, and extended warranties. There are different types of rust-proofing and undercoating, and you can actually install it yourself if you really want it. If you want it. So do some research on the type of vehicle you want to buy, read some online forums about how they hold up in wet weather, and check out the different types of water-based versus oil-based products, including sprays, thin films, and undercoatings. If it's worth doing, you don't have to do it at the dealer, and a reputable local garage will talk through it with you so you know what you're getting. Exactly. Another common package sold by dealers is tire and wheel protection, which they say covers repair or replacement of tires and wheels damaged by road hazards like potholes or debris and saves you money. Well, it's true that road hazards like potholes and debris can cause significant damage to tires and wheels, but the frequency with which buyers actually need to use their tire and wheel protection plan is relatively low. Some estimates suggest that only a very small percentage of car buyers end up making claims under these tire and wheel plans. And I'd add, nothing at the dealership saves you money. Always remember that. Consumer Reports has reviews and consumer feedback to suggest that many car buyers do not find these plans to be cost effective. For example, unless you frequently drive on poorly maintained roads or have low profile tires that are more susceptible to damage, the protection plan may not provide even minimal value. Yeah. Look, tires have an expiration date. Yeah. The average American (laughs) drives 15,000 miles a year. If you're kind to your tires, that is, you aren't constantly peeling out at stoplights and you properly maintain them, (laughs) most new tires on the market today will last about 60,000 miles on average. Some go far fewer miles and some go further. So friends, we don't buy tire protection. We use something known as a savings account. Right. We put away a little money here and there for automotive related expenses. So just do the math. What's the cost of a new set of tires for your vehicle? How long until you're guaranteed to need them? Do the math, save the cash, and skip the plans. We'd be remiss if we didn't cover theft protection packages here. Oh, yeah. Dealers claim it deters theft and aids in the recovery of a stolen vehicle. Remember what the ASE Tech JS said? What we shared at the beginning of the show, VIN etching is done on the windshield, which is a minimal deterrent. Yeah. And by the way, he said you should actually ask for a discount if they messed up your window with all these etchings. Yep. I can't imagine a thief peering at a vehicle closely to see <laughs> if numbers are etched on the glass. Can you, Liz? Right, with a flashlight and everything? No, and these days, thieves are often more interested in a vehicle's parts, like catalytic converters, rather than the whole car. Car thieves are often sophisticated enough to avoid being deterred by VIN etching, like just replacing the window. Hello. There are other more effective theft deterrent methods available. GPS tracking systems 
alarms, and immobilizers right. provide more comprehensive protection against car theft compared to VIN etching. But even these are far too expensive when sold by a dealership. It's common for large companies with lots of work trucks, as an example, to have their GPS tracking devices on their vehicles. You can buy a similar device if you are worried that you live or work in a high theft area. For sure. Following these tips to ensure you don't get hoodwinked on these add-ons is important. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more advice, and don't forget to always do your homework before heading out to the dealership. I also want to say for all the people I consult with on car buying, the people who spent a few bucks to pick up a copy of our book, Buy Smart, Drive Confidently, are the ones who always feel better prepared and are more informed. If you're not feeling very confident at getting a good car deal at this point, it's okay. Yeah. You can get Liz's help via email or text from our website, thehomeworkguy.com. And if you missed it before, you can also enlist Stuart's help. Getting direct help from us is a game changer. It's called our hassle-free car buying service for a reason. So contact Liz today and ask how you can put this amazing world-class hassle-free car buying service to work for you. Our man Stuart does everything for you. So if you're feeling intimidated or don't have the time to fight with dealers, just let Liz know. Mm -hmm. Thanks to all of you out there in our audience for coming back. We greatly appreciate your loyalty. To all of our longtime subscribers, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Thanks for listening.